Hello. This presentation will explore the challenges of building in the tropics. I shall present the topic in two parts. First, the challenges to achieving thermal comfort by passive means. And secondly, local and global climate changes that made these challenges problematic. The Koppel classification is one of the mostly widely used climate classification systems. It is based on the concept that native vegetation is the best expression of climate. Thus, climate zone boundaries have been selected with vegetation distribution in mind. It combines average, annual and monthly temperatures and precipitation, and also the seasonality of precipitation. Tropical climates are characterized by constant high temperature, especially at sea level and low elevations. All 12 months of the year have average temperatures of 18 degrees Celsius or higher. There are three basic groups, tropical rainforest climate, tropical monsoon climate, tropical wet and dry or savanna climate. Tropical rainforest climate usually occur 5 to 10 degrees latitude of the equator. All 12 months have average precipitation of at least 60 millimeters. This climate is dominated by the intertropical convergence zone all year round and thus has no real season. Tropical monsoon climate results from the monsoon winds which change direction according to the seasons. This climate has the driest month which nearly always occurs at or soon after the winter solstice for that side of the equator with rainfall less than 60 millimeters. Tropical wet and dry or savanna climate is considered as two types in relation to longer dry or lighter rainy season. Tropical savanna climate with dry winter characteristics and tropical savanna climate with dry summer characteristics. High humidity, it makes evaporative heat loss the principal means of thermoregulation at higher temperatures exceedingly difficult. Weak macro level winds, the twice a year passage of the sun directly overhead leads to weak macro level conditions in the tropics even though the region is very dependent on wind movement for thermoregulation. Absence of annual variations. The high year-round incidence of solar radiation nearly eliminates seasonal climatic variations, thus greatly amplifying the perceived discomfort due to nearly imperceptible changes in air temperature. High enthalpy. High incidence of solar radiation and associated high humidity also leads to high enthalpy, thus high energy need to achieve thermal comfort. Local and global climate changes make these challenges posed by the tropical climate increasingly problematic. Prominent among these are inadvertent climate consequences of haphazard urbanization, characterized by the urban heat island effect. Urban growth across the world remains unstoppable. More than half the world's population already live in cities, especially in Africa and Asia. The next two decades will see a doubling of urban population over that of the start of this century. Rapid urban growth contributes to both anthropogenic global climate change due to higher consumption of energy and materials, as well as local warming due to changes in urban morphology and local production of heat and pollution. There is evidence that the two phenomena, global warming and urban warming, feed off each other in major population centers. This in turn leads to more energy use, leading to a vicious cycle between local warming, energy use and emission. The superimposition of urban warming on global and regional warming be severe and thus cause for urgent mitigatory as well as adaptive action. A central objective is to decouple conventional resource use and its corollary waste generation from economic development through technological in innovation, improved efficiency and changes in individual practices. As the global population becomes urbanized, and human activities concentrated in urban areas, 
Settlement planning is a key aspect of sustainability. The widespread incorporation of tenants of sustainability into planning offers an opportunity for including climate and weather issues into urban design. Thank you for your attention.